What's up everyone? Today we have a 2005 Damon Challenger. It's going to be a quick video. We have one slide out, a workhorse. It's on a workhorse chassis. Lots of storage underneath. Not everyone wants to spend $100,000 on an RV. This is something that's going to be in the $20,000 range. Uh, very affordable for you to take your family out on some camping trips. 71,000 miles on this. Again, one slide out that is on the driver's side behind the driver's seat there. You'll see it's uh, where the couch and the dinette are on the inside here in just one second. Your entry door is also behind your <clears throat> passenger seat. It's not directly in the middle. I guess you would consider that a middle entry door, but it is a little bit closer to the passenger door there than dead center. So let's take a look inside and see what we got. Here is the couch. It's a pull out couch. Goes into a queen size bed. Got your front seats here. 71,000 miles on this RV. You have your automatic leveling jacks there. All your other controls, backup camera. You actually have a GPS system there on the left hand side. You actually have some dash storage, I believe, there, which is definitely different. You don't usually have dash storage in most RVs. That is your slide out there that has the couch and the dinette there, if you can see the outline of it. That's it on the inside. Posing from that is the kitchen. Not a whole lot of counter space, but this is in a large RV. So you do give up a little bit of counter space. We have all your necessities here, your sink. You do have an oven in this. Your microwave above that, some cabinet space. You do have a lot more storage for clothes in the back here. Lots of storage space uh, right across from the bathroom here. For your clothes, your shoes, accessories, and um, bigger closet right above that. Lots of storage. You have a Dometic refrigerator as well. If I got that in the shop for you. There is your refrigerator. Going back to your bedroom here. Nothing too fancy, again. Um, not a $100,000 motorhome, but something perfect for camping. Definitely good for a first time RV. Here's your bathroom. All your controls there, your slide out, your gray water leveling, and all that uh, good stuff there. Climate control. This RV does have two AC units. You have one up there in the front and one right above the bed back there. All right, guys, I guess that concludes it here. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And uh, I'll try to get back to you on that comment. Also, if you have any direct questions about this RV and specific, specifically and purchasing it, um, feel free to send an email to the email listed in the description. As always, thank you for watching.